Blender 4.0 is practically here, and it's packed with a lot of new features and improvements. Literally 60 somewhat pages worth of them. So let's dive into what's new and cover the most noteworthy. Starting with rigging and animation, Blender now offers the ability to color code bones, great for riggers and animators making complex skeletons a little bit more user friendly. Additionally, there's a new more efficient method for mapping vertices to bones that takes the rest pose into account, enhancing the precision in character animation. A notable bug fix that has caused distortion when rotating bones has been resolved, which will definitely help alleviate some headache for some animators. For those into simulation nodes, check out the new repeat node, as it's fantastic for looping a group of nodes a couple of times. In other geometry node news, you can mark them as modifiers visible right in the modifiers tab. This integration could definitely make modeling better if you have a custom geometry node setup that does something to a model that other native modifiers don't do. Now, probably one of the biggest yet smallest tweaks is the new snapping tool that is now easier to use. You can use it by hitting G, then B, select edge, vertex, or face, and it will align it with another object's edge, face, or vertex, really making object alignment a breeze. From what I was seeing, Maya has actually had something like it for a while, and people who switched to Blender have really missed it, so it's definitely great to see here. The principal BSDF shader has been revamped, offering a couple more options. And that's not the only node getting new features. The Veroni texture now gets fractal noise for more complex and artistic patterns. For lighting setups, lights can now selectively illuminate specific objects, giving you way more control over your scenes. And honestly, I'm a little bit surprised they didn't have it before now, but it's great to see it now. The hair BSDF gets an upgrade with the introduction of the new hang option, and the older one is still there and it's called Chang question mark? Probably around that. This new one should offer more realistic options for hair in 3D models. There is now a new composition feature called Quan Hair. I'm really not sure about that word. But this filter adds a painterly look to your renders. There's a lot of import and export changes that should make workflows smoother and more compatible when working with other software. A small tweak that many may appreciate is that you can now color pick outside of an application, though unfortunately not for Mac just yet. Hopefully soon. <laughs> The update also changes where overlays are found and adds a couple more statistics for that one overlay. For sculptors, painters, and grease pencil users, new shortcuts are here along with some removed ones intended for custom keybinding. Definitely check that out if you're into that sort of thing. And of course, there are many smaller tweaks across the board from UI improvements to performance optimizations, all coming together to form a pretty substantial update. So yeah, that is the update. How do you feel about it? Of course, if you want to see all the features, you can view the release notes, which will be linked in the description. Well, that's all for now. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next update rundown. Or you can watch some of the other videos I produce. <laughs> well, see ya. Thank you.